I am so excited. I just got a phone call from the eye doctor and both my contacts and my glasses are in. So I jumped in the car and headed that way. Oh my gosh, what a rigmarole this whole thing has been. And it's been completely my fault for waiting seven years, you know. Oh, apparently I'm just so excited. I'm gonna go 90 miles an hour down my driveway. Oh, okay, Jill. Okay. I bet if anybody watches me drive out of my driveway, if they ever catch it, I'm sure they are rolling their eyes going, my God, that woman does not know how to back up to save her life. And they'd be right, but I make it. So uh, yeah, I, if you aren't privy to this whole glasses debacle thing, I, after seven years, <laughs> decided I had better well to be fair I did have my eyes checked like two years ago but never got around to ordering glasses it it was three years ago actually um, because it was when COVID first struck and it took it, it took I think three months for them to even get these certain frames in to see if I even like them because they had a horrible selection this is where we used to live so needless to say, I never got a phone call to say they were ever in. And then finally, I did get a phone call or something. And uh, I'm like, no. So long story short, if I'm even capable of that, never picked out frames. So I never, I, I got contacts, but I never picked out frames, never did any of that. Well, uh, so it's been seven years since I've had actually new glasses. It has my old, you know, prescription in my, in those glasses. So I, of course, seven years later, I definitely have a new prescription, but I tried on all the frames, all the frames. Literally, I felt bad because you have to put them down so they can sanitize them. God, ignore my, my hands. Um, I've had two nails that I need to, that have broken and I need to redo my nails. Anywho, so needless to say, I gave up. I could go anywhere to get frames, but I don't feel like doing that. I just don't. So I decided to just keep the frames that, I, that I've had for seven years. They don't even make them anymore. I was so bummed because even though they would have been the same exact ones, I would have liked to have new ones. They're wearing here and there, you know, they're they're not brand new by any stretch. But they don't even make them. So I sent away my frames and everything. So I have been without glasses and I've been using, and I went through the five days of free contacts that they give you with my new prescription. <clears throat> and huh, so I haven't been seeing all that great. I've been wearing, after those ran out, um, she had given me these Toric two week contacts that you can so you know have the solution overnight they soak in there and you wash them and put them in you and you can use the same ones for two weeks we've since tweaked the prescription a bit so I don't see the best in these um, but it's been over two weeks and I've still been wearing them because if I don't have something I'm not gonna see anything so I can't wait to um, get my glasses. I think there's, there is definitely going to be an adjustment period. And I'm just hoping they work. I'm just hoping they got the prescription or right, or I got it right when I was saying, no, the second one's better than the first one. You know how they do that. But I did, I have had, as you may or may not know, I did pick out other frames and I wore them for 20, like a whole day and they killed my nose right here they weren't comfortable so I had to return them uh, however I did wear the new prescription for that day and there I was and, it, and it, I would say the only issue was the tracking it was really weird it, it was like a low resolution TV you know you know how okay somebody's just honking like crazy a very low resolution TV to where if it's scanning the horizon or something, it's like you can see all the, it kind of lags. 
you can see all the pixels not that I can see pixels but that's kind of and I told that to the gal that works behind the counter and stuff and she said that's probably because you need to give yourself a little time to get used to your new prescription but if these don't work and if if for some reason though that isn't the case then these will be I'm, I'm not gonna settle like I want to see better this is why I I am so excited to get glasses not because of the frames obviously I'm gonna reuse the ones I've had for seven years even though I was looking forward to something new it's I want to see better you know stupid me I go seven years without getting my eyes checked and now sorry the traffic's a little crazy because it's three o'clock in the afternoon I usually get out of the house long before now but oh, I'm definitely picking these up today oh can I get into this I'm gonna try to get into this parking spot here wow I did this like like a trucker man that was awesome Jill <laughs> like I really knew what I was doing okay I'm gonna go get the glasses and the contacts I'll be back I'm sucking on an Altoid hope that doesn't drive you guys nuts so I got them back I definitely whatever the material that they used for the anti-glare seven years ago I feel like it was better than whatever is they use now because I definitely got the anti-glare and I feel like there's more glare than my old pair well boy I almost parked a little too good I'm gonna be riding up on the um, okay I'm gonna have to go straight back Anyway, um, I do feel like I have a little more glare, not on my end, but like looking at me than I did with the material that was on my other, which was seven years ago, and I'm sure it was probably actually gone. I don't know how that works. I'm trying to think if I want to go. No, I don't think I do and say should I go browse at Target I have been wanting to get out of the house today yeah are they straight these always had a tendency of fitting me <clears throat> a little crooked so I can oh yeah I, I think these are gonna be good I just don't want to send them back again anyway I think we're good I, I do. And I got my two 30-day boxes. Dang it, I meant to get my prescription from them in case I want to order these somewhere else. Maybe it's cheaper. These were $40 a box for 30 days supply of, so $80 for both eyes. They are the One Day AccuView Moist with Astigmatism. new different frames I was kind of wanting a change but I do like these frames so they're gonna have to do me good and if you know if I do find frames I can always I'll just it won't go through insurance though because you only get to do that once every two years with our insurance and you still have to pay out of pocket
Hi guys, I'm here in front of my laptop and I just finished editing a makeup tutorial video. Took me, this is my third day. Normally it doesn't take me three days to edit, but lots of interruptions, a lot of stuff going on this week. So it took me three days. <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you like it. It's I really tried to gear this one specifically really the eye portion the eye look to those that are beginners or that are just starting to revisit using makeup again and feel a bit lost or they just they have seen changes in their their skin and their eyes and what used to work isn't really working anymore and they're frustrated and so they've given up on the whole makeup thing so i really try to break things down and, and go really slowly with the eye look that is actually a very simple it's it's the way i wear my makeup so you will see kind of a some you know the same thing pretty much over and over <laughs> i always hope that i give you new tips each time uh, but even though it's a simple look I hope that those of you that that sort of that description fits finds it helpful and for those of you that it doesn't I still hope that you find it entertaining I think it was a fun one just all in all I think it was a fun one anyway so yes I have been trying my darndest to stay focused and to get this done and I think largely also along with a lot of interruptions of which I won't go into the reason why it was just really hard for me to stay stay in it, stay focused. I always like to put my best work out there. And if I feel that I'm rushing along or just get trying to get it done, I just put it aside and try later. That's what I had done, <laughs> a lot. You know what I just about an hour ago got delivered, I had to sign for it in the mail. New wigs from Wigs by Patty's Pearls that I get to share with you guys. Oh boy, I am really, I haven't even opened the box of the boxes that are in it, but I'm pretty sure I do know what's in it. So we're going to be seeing some new wig chats and I still have one more wig chat to get out with the stuff that I had received prior to the one that I got today. So I, I am, I need to get my rear and gear and get these cranked out for you guys. Again, I like to put, you know, really good quality stuff out there to you. So uh, within the next three weeks, you're probably gonna see a wig chat every week. That's pretty exciting. I am really excited to get my hands in on some of that new hair. In the background, you're hearing Ozark. I'm such a nerd. I have watched this back from season one, episode one. Probably this is my fourth run through. And do you know that every single time I watch it, I pick up on something new? And so that goes to show that I either half pay attention or I have it playing in the background when I'm doing stuff like this. But the first time that I watched Ozark, I definitely sat and watched it. I was glued. I didn't do anything in the background. But now that I've seen it several times, that's what I do. But I still, I am picking up on new things every single time, uh, which is kind of fun. But, you know, the last seven episodes are gonna be coming out and then it's over, over for good. <laughs> and uh, it's coming out the end of April. So I'm re-watching and re-watching to pick up on any clues, any little sort of, you know, clues basically that could help me sort of try to predict what these, how this is gonna end. If you've watched Ozark, it's been quite a journey such a good show i'm gonna be so sad to see it come to an end just because it is incredible really incredible and i'm a huge jason bateman fan so i've enjoyed this show immensely so while i'm sad to see the last seven episodes to to wrap it all up i am really excited about it but I want to say it's either April 24th. I think it's April 29th. I, I think it's literally at the end of this month. It is actually April. Easter is around the corner. Oh boy. Anyway, okay. I'm going to sign off here from the bedroom. 
and uh, I will meet you somewhere else here, I'm sure, pretty quick <laughs> through the magic of TV. It's actually Monday, but it's rather late in the day. It's, I let's see, it's right around six o'clock, about 5.53, it looks like. You never believe what I did. I got my days mixed up. We get, well, they're called Baxter deliveries because it's a medical delivery for my husband's dialysis. So we get all of everything we need for that month. And it's once a month. Well, I thought it was today and they never really tell you the time. Usually they give you a window, but sometimes lately I haven't been even getting that. So it's a guessing game. And sometimes they can be here as early as like 7 a.m. So I made sure I was up just in case that happened. I really wanted to do a couple errands today, which would require leaving the house. But when you're expecting something, you can't do that. And so here it is, six o'clock. And... I found out probably an hour and a half ago, hour, probably about an hour ago, that I got the dates mixed up. They're actually going to be here on Wednesday, at what time I don't know, so we'll be reliving this whole day again on Wednesday. That explains why they never showed up today. In the meantime, I really uh, have to go to the pet store, and you know what, I, I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Anyways. <laughs> What I am doing now is I'm thinking about going to Ulta. It's one of the things I wanted to do. It ends up I don't have to go to Rite Aid. Originally I did, but the prescription isn't even ready because it, they need to call the doctor and get a new refill on it. So you know what? I think I might actually try to make Ulta because I am completely out of an eye palette that is just taupe. And I had my favorite eye palette that had a lot of different taupes, which is just really neutral browns. They're not too warm. Um, they tend to lean a little on the ashy side, but a true taupe is hard to find, like legitimately hard to find apparently, because I don't have really taupes. Um, I do have a couple that were from Makeup Geek, but I don't like using those anymore, you know, in tutorials or even get ready with me's because if you guys want something like that, I can't link it for you anymore. They're no longer available. And the palette that I used to really grab all the time, I mean, it was definitely my go-to everyday kind of look. It is so old. It is so old that I really stopped using it and I may have already thrown it away. If not, I need to throw it away. So I'm topless. <laughs> and uh, I noticed that when looking at palettes, that ColourPop has a palette that is called Taupe something. And I looked at it at least online and they did look like true topes. <laughs> what a debacle, right? So I wanted to take a look at ColourPop anyway. I have never used any ColourPop products ever. So I think it'll be fun to kind of look at those. They tend to get really good reviews and great feedback. They're nicely priced, good price point. So I thought I would take a look. They have a few of their sort of smaller square palettes that I want to take a look at. And I want to say they're about $14 a piece. And I think you get nine eyeshadows, you know, pans or whatever you want to call it in each palette. So I hope they have the taupe one in stock because that's kind of why I'm going there. And there's a couple other things that, that I wanted to look at while I'm there as well. Mostly, I really want to get out of the house. That's really what I, do, I want to do. So I'm freshening up. That's what I'm, what did it take me? How many minutes to get to that point? I want to freshen up before I head out. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I have my lights on. Why do I feel like I need more, more lights? I don't know. Okay. So this is that new concealer that I purchased the last time we were out and about and we went to Ulta just last, last weekend. So I'm trying it out so far, you know, pretty much I do like it. Sorry guys, I'm a little tired, 
just a little. It's that end of the day kind of after, you know, 4 p.m. that my brain stops trying to make sense and connect words and sentences that actually make some sort of, you know, sense. It's definitely going to be interesting. (laughs) All right. I already had my dinner, which consisted of slicing up some andouille sausage, frying it up with some garlic and onion, and then scrambling some eggs having some Tabasco, okay, y'all, some Tabasco on that with some Mexican blend cheese, and it was delicious. Man, it's the kind of throw them together kind of dinners that I seem to really be doing pretty good at lately. Okay. And I think I'm just going to do a little more of this right around where I tend to get, where I tend to lose foundation during the day and where I tend to get a little red, probably because there's no more, no more foundation there anymore. I am so ready for spring. Look, I have another sweatshirt on. It is April and we had the most bizarre, it was actually kind of cool today. The weather is the kind of weather that I actually like, but it was windy, rainy, not pouring rain, but oh, sometimes it would, and it would hit the side of the window, you know, almost sounding like it was hailing outside. And then it would get really windy and then calm down. The sun would peek out and uh, then it would do it all over again. It's been a really weird weather day today here. I am going to put a little more blush on. Let me grab what I put on this morning, which was, what is this called again? Celebrated by Tarte. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's just this really nice, very neutral, very pretty color actually. I really was going for like a soft monochromatic kind of look today. And unfortunately, you're not seeing it fresh. (laughs) Okay, I think to jazz things up, I am going to set it, but I am going to set. Well, hold on. All right. Well, I'm going to set my nose and everything that I just put concealer on, except for under my eyes. I have not been setting my concealer at all, but I am going to set my nose and all of this. This is the Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very nice, very finely milled setting powder. All right. And then I am going to set on top of that with this here you know what it is it's the it's the laura mercier why why i swear i'm not doing that on purpose to where i never can remember the actual name of this celestial light that is the shade by the way (laughs) i'm going to put what it actually is somewhere in this frame but this comes in shades you know you have choices and i have the lightest available which is called celestial light this is very radiant so i have found that you have to go with a tasteful hand and i have preferred using this over the top of a traditional setting powder like the one i just set my nose with but I'm gonna just put this right over the top of the blush. I'm just, I'm gonna put it on the side here of my nose or just kind of right in here, but I'm not gonna set my nose with it. It just, my my nose kind of, you know, doesn't need it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything to touch up the eyes, except for maybe I will do a little bit of this sort of in on the rim, I should say. So I'm gonna put this 
Let me see. Let me, I don't know if I can do this with. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get over this way just a little bit. Kind of move this forward. Lordy me, I need a larger desk. This one is. Oh, it's too small. I don't have enough room on this thing. Okay. So these stay put. They really do on actual skin. <laughs> In the waterline, eh, like most really creamy pencils, they don't stick around all that long. That's why I really aim more for getting it on the rim right where my lashes grow out. Kind of scrubbing it in there. And then I have a nice look even when it's gone in the waterline. So while my eye makeup isn't the freshest in the world, it looks pretty good. I can see where my mascara, when I applied it, I got it all up in here. That's great. I think we're going to look a little better once we do something with the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and line with the NYX Matte Lip Pencil. And I'm loving this one. It's in the color. I want to say it's called Los Angeles. <music> I'm going to go in now with what I wore today, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess. These are beautiful. Now this isn't a true pink. It's really sort of this pretty blend of like a peach and a, and a pink. All right, that is all I'm going to do to sort of feel like I look a little more presentable. I'll probably put a little hairspray or something in, in my gorgeous piece here, which by the way, I'm going to tell you what it is because I did the wig chat for this already. So I feel like I did it because I did. However, the lighting was absolutely horrendous that day because we had a good amount of sunshine. And even though I have blinds over here and my, at that time, this was right under the window. I couldn't use the footage at all. It was horrible. So I need to refilm the wig chat for this. This is the Dolce & Dolce by Belle Tress in brown sugar sweet cream. This is the shorter version because they do have, I think it's like a 23 inch long and this one is not that one. <laughs> it is absolutely stunning. I love it and for the very first time tonight I'm going to actually wear it out and about. <laughs> 